2015 and a half Rockwood Mini Light Model 2104S here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, you notice I uh, threw the and a half on the model number. That's not trying to be cute. There are some significant mid-year model changeovers that took place. And I wanted to uh, kind of reshoot this footage to really point those out to you because this is one of those things where the best just keeps getting better. Rockwood is and has been the number one selling lightweight produced uh, for what six seven eight years in a row or something like that uh, the question is why why are so many people looking toward rockwood than you know as compared to other brands because they're not the cheapest lightweight out there but they're fantastically well built they also have the best feature and options profile uh, as compared to anything else in their category case in point the full body color package skin upgrade they put on these as part of the 2015 season um, I don't know what you want to call it, maybe like a light cream or say a, a vanilla colored skin with a very sharp, high contrast, modern looking uh, black trim. And I really like this milk chocolate stone guard you see in here. Stone guards are something a lot of lightweights simply don't have. They're going to help keep the trailer looking great. Um, you're going to find this very well equipped. We have power tongue jack, power awning. Um, a roof vent fan over the bathroom fan, lots of things like that that just are not common or even available on most lightweights. Um, you also notice the big propane tanks. This has 30 pound tanks instead of 20s, and that'll give you 50% more dry camping time. Now, along with that uh, full vanilla ice cream skin package that you see on here, you're also going to see uh, newly updated frameless uh, windows here. Now, they don't just look amazing. What's neat is the seal is actually under the window pane. So it's just another way that the, the you know wind, rain, and weather stays away from your trailer, and it's another method of leak prevention. It's why in lightweights, Rockwoods have, uh, if they don't have the highest resale, last I knew they did, that could always change, but last I knew they did, and uh, if they don't have that, they're very darn close. Notice even the side windows on the slide outs open, and your construction, I mentioned, is one of the areas these are vastly superior to the competition. This is fully six-sided vacuum laminated. If you need an explanation of the three ways to put fiberglass skin on a trailer, give us a call. Long story short, this is the best way to build a trailer. A lot of lightweight trailers, you thump on the side and it's laminated, it's nice and strong. Go to the side wall of the slide out, rockwood, fully laminated. The front wall of the trailer, the rear wall of the trailer, the roof, the floor, every single wall of this trailer is fully vacuum laminated. If you want a truly walkable roof, you are looking at it. There are, there's really nothing else in a lightweight series fully built like this. There are some other uh, um, manufacturers that are beginning to uh, basically join along in uh, getting a nice, well-built, laminated product. Rockwood did it first, did it better, has been doing it longer. If you want power tools, you don't go with the guy who just started building them. You go with someone like Black & Decker or a brand that you know and trust, a high, you know, a high visibility name that has been doing this for a long time. That's Rockwood. That's what Rockwood is in lightweights. Um, notice that your awning is maximum size. You can't really put a bigger awning on this thing. It's as big as it can possibly get. Now, what's also sweet is this comes standard with an RVQ outdoor grill. But notice the large size of the mounting rail on here. It also comes with this little table. So after you flip your burger, you have a spot to put this. Now if you're right or left handed, it doesn't matter. This is set up for a right handed person. Most people are going to flip the burger, set down your, uh, your uh, utensil. But if you're left handed, not a big deal. You simply slide this over and there you go. Now it's for right handed people, or pardon me, left handed people works either way. Another cool thing on these is the indoor outdoor television. You're always tailgating here. Uh, the entire swing arm lifts off of the mount inside and comes outside. So no matter where your patio table set, no matter where you're cooking, you always have your TV. Another cool thing on these is these are not leaf springs. Start looking around most campers, they bounce around on leaf springs. Rockwoods are on dual tandem torsion axles. Now, um, torsion axles are probably the best riding axles out there. There are a lot of wide stance leaf spring suspensions out there, the new cool thing. They're okay. There's nothing wrong with those. My money though, my stuff rides on torsions. That's what I want. Also, they did some extra work opening up exterior storage pockets here. Um, they, uh, you know, any ounce that they could, they opened up for just every ounce of storage space they could put on these. 
Now little things like the little door strut on here, that's part of what's keeping our longevity. They, they have this door set so that it won't fully cover that window, so you still get light inside. And if that window's kicked open, this door can't open all the way and break that window fixture, because that's an expensive problem nobody wants to have to deal with. Now, um, quick disclaimer, there are some features and options, say like the fabric color schemes on this coach. Um, we sell a lot of Rockwoods. We're Michigan's largest independent RV dealer. And Rockwood being the number one lightweight, you can imagine it's a high volume, uh, you know, high draw sales item. So we may have several of these in throughout the year. We will. And they may be in different color schemes. So if the pictures look different from this video, you know why. The pictures more accurately rec uh, reflect the things like the fabrics. Speaking of which, I don't know exactly the name of this color scheme. This is a new color pattern that just came out, so I haven't learned the name of it yet. But your sofa here is uh, like a dark charcoal uh, faux leather, like leatherette type touch. They uh, updated the little pillows that come with this color scheme a little bit this year. You have the same matching material on the back, and uh, almost like this, uh, I don't know, wolf-ish fur look on the front. Um... The reason I'm pointing that out again, that could change depending on the model you're taking home. Same with the woodwork. This is the hickory wood. There's also a cherry option that's a little darker. So there's different fabrics and woodwork in Rockwoods. Anyway, this is a Murphy bed model. What's really cool about this is it is two floor plans in one. So this is kind of like daytime mode. You have a front sofa, you have big open living space, lots of walking room. So if someone's cooking at the kitchen, you don't have to bump into them. You have the big dinette over here that can fold down into an extra two person sleeper that's seven foot long if you need it. Um, there are just so many good factors going on in this li living room, uh, including, this is a perfect place to show you. You see how there's less wood over here and it grows. That's because the entire interior of this is vaulted and domed. That's not something you normally find in lightweight units. So when you're ready to, you know, bunk down for the night, this is so easy you can do it with one hand. Simply pull down the bed. And that's it. One hand and you instantly convert to almost a completely different floor plan. You go from a front sofa to a full front queen bed that you can actually walk around. You still have his and hers wardrobe cabinets. You have little bed stands with some uh, storage on each side. There are little uh, you know, stands down here where you can keep drinks and things like that. Uh, you'll notice nicer things in Rockwood RVs like LED lights, standard, all the way through. Even a mini light, which is the starter point Rockwood, which in a way is almost not giving it the credit it deserves. Every Rockwood from mini light to ultralight to signature is built the same. Their highest dollar fifth wheel is built identically to this, one of their smaller travel trailers. And the neat thing about that is when there's standardization and construction, there's a natural quality assurance that goes with that because the guy's building the same thing all day, every day. Doesn't have to guess which one he's building, it's the same. You'll see nicer things like uh, the glass cooktop here over your stove, even in a mini light. Same thing you see in a signature series. You'll see big drawers, big closets, big cabinets in here, full ball bearing drawer glides, plywood box construction, stuff that is built to perform and last. Now, 21 foot camper with central air is almost unheard of. They just generally don't do it. But Rockwood builds it the same way every time. Um, you'll see fun little thing. This is where your TV bracket mounts up here, by the way. You take that TV from outside, mount it right here, and it can spin and face the bedroom, it can face the dinette, it can face anywhere it wants. Um, you also have a full charging center up here, so you can take your phone, uh, either with a USB cable or a, uh, what I grew up calling a, a cigarette lighter plug, and or just a normal wall charger. You can keep all your tablets and smartphones and devices right here and charged. Uh, this has a all-in-one AM, FM, CD, DVD uh, unit with Bluetooth link. So your phones, your tablets, I mean, it does everything. You can wirelessly play music from your phone. You can watch a DVD. It does everything. You have an easy centralized command center for things like your slide out, your awning, your water heater on gas or electric or both. This has a fast recharge system where you can run on gas and electric at the same time. Uh, the, even the bathroom in a mini light is superior to most lightweights. 
you see that you have a full medicine cabinet so that you actually have room for things like your shavers and your toothpaste. And notice how they left your room for bigger stuff in here too. Um, the uh, stool is a foot flush and it's a little bit bigger than most. And uh, I'll, let me kind of demonstrate for you. I'm 6'3". You see that I have plenty of room in here. My legs do not have to be curled under me doing some weird bathroom yoga just to sit on the toilet. And notice that you do have uh, no tub, so it's easy to get in and out of the shower, and you have uh, water uh, protection walls here. So you have the shower wall surround as opposed to just the wall paneling. If this is all you had, the water that sprays off your body when you're bathing will water damage that wall. You don't see that in a Rockwood. You have both a skylight and the full-size Create a Breeze fan that comes standard with the roof lid cover. That's not something that you find really, I don't think, anywhere else in lightweight trailers. I believe they're pretty much exclusive on that. Um, we did, uh, looks like, upgrade to the raised panel doors on the refrigerator so that the door paneling matches the cabinetry, which is built to last. It is absolutely built to last. Huge big wardrobe or just coat closet back here and extra um, storage space below. Some people have asked, why is there an extra hinge on here? Because these are accesses to things like, say, water heaters, things you don't need to get to every day, so they kind of prevent kids from accidentally getting in there. So much more to learn about these. Please give us a call. And I mean, you know, we do full trades, financing, hitching, brakes, accessories. We do everything in one space. It's fun and it's easy to work here. That's why we've been so successful. Give us a call, 800-256-5196. Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Happy camping.